In this video, you will learn how to create the Donchian channel indicator and be able to add it to the Thinkorswim platform. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now and got a new video today, a little bit different than what I do historically. I don't have Excel pulled up to start. I have the Thinkorswim platform. So if you've been using Thinkorswim for a long time, a client of TD Ameritrade, then this is pretty familiar to you. If you're part of the, the Schwab, uh, transition, then maybe you haven't really spent a lot of time in the Thinkorswim platform or just getting started. But one of the things that you might notice is there is no canned Donchian channel indicator within the default studies. So in today's video, I'm going to walk through how to create that indicator and add it to your Thinkorswim platform so you can have that as a study to, to put on your chart if, if you want. And so you can see if I have up on the screen, the Donchian channels, it has a green upper band, a red lower band, and then the midline is a, a cayenne color. And so really good tool just to be able to use breakouts. So you can see as uh, a new high is established over whatever look back period you have. I have 60 periods pulled up here on the daily for the, the SPY. And you can see as we, we make a new high, the, the Donchian channel will adjust and then it'll continue to adjust higher as new highs are being made. So you can see when a trend is really um, in full force and making new highs, the, the channels will continue to, to establish a new high. And then whenever you're in a period of consolidation or downtrend, you'll see we don't have an, a new high, but we'll have some new lows. So I find this very helpful to put on the chart just to visualize consolidation periods, breakouts and breakdowns. So that's, that's what we're gonna be working towards today. If that all sounds good to you, I'll flip over to Excel where I have the indicator. I'll kind of talk through, there's just a couple of lines of code and then we can walk through how to actually put this into the Thinkorswim platform. All right, I have Excel pulled up here and you can see I have the Donchian channels indicator labeled. And the first line of code is just gonna be our look back period. So I have 60 periods. You can make this 20, 50, 200, whatever you want. This will be the number of periods that we're gonna look for the highest high and the 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 lowest low. So we're going to plot the upper band and we're going to look for the highest high and we're going to displace one period. So you're going to look back 60 periods, not including today's high. That way you can show that way you'll be able to see when the indicator is put on the thinker swim chart, whenever the current bar high is greater than the previous upper band, you'll know that's a, that's a breakout and the, the reverse goes true for the lower study lower band here, and then the midpoint is just going to be the upper band plus the lower band divided by two. And then I just set the default colors for that upper band to come in at green, the lower band at red, and then the midline at the, the cayenne color. So that's that's a pretty simple indicator, just a couple lines of code, but we can go ahead and copy this and I'll show you how we could add this to Thinkorswim studies. And the link in the description, I'll have this exact code so you can replicate exactly what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay, we're back over at Thinkorswim. So if you go up to the studies here and you click edit studies, we can remove what was on there today. So we have just candlestick charts and we have the volume subgraph. We'll go back, we'll do that again with nothing on there. And then we can go to create here. And then we'll just highlight that and control V to, to copy in what we pulled from Excel. And then you can rename your study to the Donchian channels if you want and click OK and then apply. And then if you want to look at the, the properties, you can adjust this period. 60 is the default that I have, but you can change the colors as well. Click OK. And there it is. So Donchian channels are pulled in. And like I said, this study is not a, a default study within the Thinkorswim platform, but uh, really helpful, especially if you followed any of the, the turtle trading Books, the Donchian channels, Richard Donchian invented this as a great way to identify breakouts and be able to ride trends for a long period of time. So hopefully you found this helpful. Like I said, in the description will be the source code and uh, consider liking and subscribing and God bless.